Welcome back everyone to Terra Firmacraft. There's a chest here, but I can't open it because there's planks above it. Who would put planks above a chest? Eh, just more lore books. Okay. I'm alive. All's well. My cat's back to meowing. Uh, that was a horrible first night. <laughs> no denying that. It was a horrible first night. But, we're here, we're alive, I have a couple reward bags, so let's open them up, see what we have. Ooh, slate rock and copper nugget, that's not too bad. And some galena, that is also not too bad. I like galena. I don't know what galena's for. Anyway, before we were attacked voraciously by zombies we were gonna make a campfire so that we could get torches made so we won't be attacked by voracious zombies <laughs> you can see how well that went I'm just gonna gather a few more resources before we do so though okay so a campfire you need a fire starter and some sticks I'm just gonna clear out some of this grass I should be using my knife to clear it out because I get straw when I do that, but oh well. Okay, so you throw down three sticks and you right click where the sticks are at and hopefully... Darn it. Hopefully... They catch fire. And then you get a fire pit. And then with that fire pit, you throw sticks into it and you get torches. Two torches a stick. We're just going to grab a few. Oop, and the fire is go cooling down. Alright, so in order to keep the fire going you have to throw logs in over on the side. That keeps the fire up, it keeps it hot, keeps it so you can make torches and cook food. It's a good, good source for you to have. I wonder, is the F7... No, there's no F7. Weird. Usually that comes with packs that exist. I'm going to put these torches randomly around my area then. Alright, so the next step in our survival is going to be to get some clay, which thankfully we have a source of clay right behind our house, so we don't have to wander off to try to find it. It's probably the only thing that's gone good for us this entire, entire world so far. Let me just grab a whole bunch of this stuff. Clay is always marked out by these golden rods. I don't think the golden rods themselves have a use though, so don't really need to worry about picking them. Unless you want some decoration around your primitive survival broken down house that you managed to find in the wilderness because reasons. Seriously, why is there a broken down house here? I'm going to fix it up eventually, but for the time being, I'm just kind of stuck in a in a, a mess of garbage. Let's actually get a little bit more. There. Even 50. Okay, quest book. Uh, hmm. Charcoal. It's going to be more useful, probably. Get little clay balls. Oh, I do need to collect some golden rods for this. Okay, that's kind of weird. One, two, three, 
four and five. Claim the reward. All right. So we need to find some pumpkins, and we need to make some pottery. We need four ceramic vessels, four ceramic jugs, and four ceramic bowls. Not difficult to do at all. Oop. <laughs> Hit the escape button too many times. Okay, so for making pottery, you basically do the same thing as with the the napping. For a vessel, you need to do this. Now, vessels are big. They do not stack. Even in clay form. And you might be wondering, okay, you got clay vessels, what do you do with them? Well, what you do with them... Hmm, we're going to do this at the beach. Just because it's open area and I don't have to worry about burning anything down. Okay, so what you do with them is you take them, you hold shift, and you right click into a hole and it puts them on the ground. And then I take my knife, and I go cut into the grass and I get a bunch of, of straw. piece. There we go. And I have enough wood as well. Okay. Let's go take care of this then. So you take the straw and you lay down a foundation. And then you take the logs and you put the logs on top. And then you stare at the whale and wonder what the heck mod is adding that thing. And then you realize it's going to be nighttime soon and you pee your pants and you go inside and cry like a little girl or an effeminate man and plug up as many holes as you can in your broken down shelter Or you realize that there's already a zombie inside. No. Dicey flame. Oh. Well, that would explain why there were so many zombies last night. Hopefully I can get this broken before I'm attacked. Yeah! No more... Hello, Deb. <sighs> These axes are not meant for combat at all. But I should be relatively safe now. Most of the holes that the zombies can get in are plugged up, except for this one here. Let's close that. Although baby zombies can still get in. And a whole bunch of mobs just spawn outside, so I'm gonna go just hide up here and hopefully we don't have a repeat of last night. That'd be quite unfortunate for me. Well, this might not be a good thing for me. Yeah, this is not a good thing for me. <laughs> Why is there so many things that are hell-bent on my destruction? I would prefer if I could just live for a while.
I wish peace with the natives of this land. But they do not have any interest in peace with me, and that was a hole I nearly fell in. Okay. I should be safe enough to go back and get some more clay, because I would like to get more clay. I also need a lot more straw, so... Take some time to gather up a whole bunch of it. As much as I possibly can. Because hey, straw is useful. You will learn that very quick in this pack. If you want to build stuff early on, you can make mud brick using straw, dirt, and sand. It is a great Ooh! Ah, oh, sweet! I think this is a hot spring! And there's steam coming off of it, which is causing some graphical errors. Yeah, there we go. Hot springs. And a bunny! Hello, little bunny. Hot springs are actually pretty useful because they allow you to heal faster when you're sitting in them. So if you find one, definitely definitely remember where it is. Mark it on your map. Bookmark it on Google Chrome. I don't know. Just never forget where it is. And the music stopped. It's already almost noon. Time goes by a little too quick. Okay, so I went ahead and I made all the clay jugs I needed. And I made a, an extra thing that was not in the list, but I like to make anyway because it is quite useful. It's called a large vessel, which basically is an early sort of storage unit. Because you can't make chests early on in this pack. You need to have metal to make a saw so you can make planks to make a chest. And I think I'm going to need to chop down a few more trees and collect a little bit more clay. Which I guess I will use for making some ingot casts. Which an ingot cast, you just do this and you get two. There we go. Alright, might as well be deforesting the entire area around my house, so that way it's a little bit safer for me to live here. <clears throat> now you might be wondering, if you've never played Terraforma Craft before, why do I not have a pick yet? Wouldn't that make it easier for me to fix up the house? Well, yes, that would make it easier, but the reason I don't have a pick yet is because there's no such thing as wood or stone picks. You need to have metal to get a pick. Now, that may leave you wondering, okay, how do you do the metal? Well, remember all those little ore chunks I'm finding on the ground? You use all that, and that is what you get metal from. You have to melt it down in one of those pit kilns, which is what those holes filled with straw, clay, and wood are. And that will melt down some of the most basic metals you can get, like copper or tin or zinc. And while you can't make a pickaxe out of zinc, you can make it out of the copper or the tin, I think. I'm not sure on the tin one, but you might be able to. 
Don't quote me on it. Because I have no idea. Off the top of my head, I don't have any ideas. All right, so these are all pit kilns. They're ready to get lit. Now, you can do this in one of two ways. You can either sit here and use the fire starter, or you can be a little bit cheaty and use a torch to, and just throw it on top. I don't have a spare torch, so I'm just going to try using the fire starter, and there we go. All right, so this has eight hours before it's done, and it's not eight hours real time. It's eight hours in the game, so basically a full night. Now, while that's going on, I need to find somewhere to get a drink of water because my water levels are getting kind of low, which is slowing me down a bit. And I believe right here we have some fresh water. Wherever you find these cattails, that is water you can drink. And it takes forever to drink water by hand when you're just sticking your face in the water. But that's how it is for the start. Okay. And I might as well stuff my face with this bell pepper. It's not much, but it'll do. Alright, so this is actually pretty good. This is a lemon tree. And that basically means we're going to have a source of fruit come late summer. And that is a real, real real good thing because that is food we don't need to do anything to get now I do have some seeds so I should go about getting a farm started I left my hoe and my seeds in my house though, so we're gonna have to go grab that quick now farming is actually a little bit more complicated in this pack but because we're so early on there's actually nothing we can do to make things better for us so we just have to kind of deal with crappier farms all around also I should make myself another set of knives go. The knives are actually going to help us get a little bit more food thanks to us being near the ocean. I'll show you that, show you how in a moment. Uh, we're going to go and head and do farmland over here. bit. And you notice that it doesn't actually indent the ground like normal Minecraft farming does. It just turns it to farmland. And then you take your seeds, you plop them down. Already 13% grown. That's kind of quick. Well, after some time this will all, all grow up and I'll be able to collect a nice harvest of yellow peppers. Although it might be autumn by the time that happens, so don't expect to see any results from that anytime soon. In the meantime, we venture off into this bay where we find some seaweed. And we take a knife and we stab it. And that gets us lots little bits of seaweed. Although I think I'm dropping a lot of it down in the water. Oh well, can't worry about that because it's now too dark for me to continue to be out here. 
It's time for me to head inside and cry like a little girl again. Or an effeminate man. Anyway, seaweed is a good early source of food. It's pretty plentiful as long as you are near an ocean. If you're near a river or a body of fresh water in the middle of the woods, I pity you because that's going to be a little bit more difficult to get a steady source of food. Actually, there is something I should be doing with these barrels that we have. It's, it's very fortunate that we got a whole bunch of barrels for free. Alright, so... I'm going to keep a couple in here for the purpose of storage. Because I can open these up and click to solid storage and I can store uh, 12 different items in them which is pretty good. I can just throw all these rocks in here and this clay and the sand and I just leave it like that and we're fine. I really hope they cannot get through that door because <laughs> if they can I have no safety at all anywhere. Uh, speaking of no safety, I realize that there is actually a hole right here. Now there's not. Ha! Take that, zombies. You can't get into my place. It's my house. <laughs> They're gonna murder me and rip off my face. <laughs> no, it's raining out. That actually is kind of a good thing because I can take these barrels and because I have an open roof, I may as well <laughs> yeah. I'm collecting rainwater in the barrels. Which, you know, that's kind of useful because I can just go over to the barrels whenever I need a drink and... Well, when I get a ceramic vessel, I can just fill it up and... Take a sip. Yep, see? Filling up. Huh. <sighs> All right, quest book. What else is there I need to do? I need to go find some jack lanterns, but I don't know the likelihood of be finding that right now. But there's no other quests I can do. Uh, what about those walls? I need to find them. I can't click here for some reason. Nope. I can double click it though. That's kind of weird. This look like looks like it's all terra firma craft. Where's the walls? That's the Minecraft one. I don't want the Minecraft one. I want the Terra Firma Craft one. <laughs> Which is going to be hard to find with all the stuff that's in the way. All the junk. Why can't I click this button? Oh, there we go. That's weird. I, you saw me double clicking that multiple times. Anyway. Oops. Okay, that's what I thought. I need to have 
I need to have the upgraded crafting grid. That's going to be a while. Well, I think I'll end this episode here. Uh, next episode, we'll take a look at getting all the other stuff. Maybe go exploring a bit, try to find jack lanterns. Hope you guys are enjoying. Give a like if you are. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed in the past. And I will see you in a future video. Take care and goodbye.